So welcome everybody, I will demonstrate uh, the easiest way to make brilliant glossy icons on your computer. I intend to use only free, but excellent softwares. I will design the computer icon in PaintNet and convert and finalize it in another software called IcoFX. Both are very good stuff and extremely simple to use, I suppose. Let's start with the PaintNet and we have to make the entire image transparent first have to press Control A you can see this has been selected and press the Del button delete and we've got a completely transparent window actually and we're going to select uh, this one around the rectangle the color will be black for first that's okay. We're going to make a rectangle, quite a big one, and right here will be fine. Yes, and I intend to cut off the middle because this is going to be um, this is going to be some kind of application icon. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool and and I'm trying to find roughly the middle of this square press the delete button no it doesn't work now because selection mode should be replaced let's try it again yes press the delete button middle is missing now so we're going to to the two lines brush width will be 30 or could be more but we have to choose a different color because it was black and the other one should be different to cut off properly later so one line from here to there and the other one from here to there yes let's pick up the magic wand and select it, press the delete button again so we've got this shape and uh, we're going to color it, use the gradient tool I decided to to color one side to green nice green put it here Oops. First of all, we have to select it. <coughs> and of course, put the gradient tool. Stuff like this. And we're going to select the other part. Choose the proper color for this. It's going to be yellow. Maybe light yellow, yellow green, something carry on colors yes we have to select the other part as well yes and we have to press the control button and add this part to the selection and right now we're going to make it glossy we're going to make it glossy and for this we have to add another layer and we have to select the ellipse select, select option and the selection mode should be intersect and we have to draw an ellipse somewhere over here yes you can see wha what happened now we have to fill it usually with white white color yes and deselect tool go to layer properties we have to set it up to roughly 105 
seven. That's okay. And we have to flatten the image. And I intend to put some effect into it, which will be blues and smooth. Yes. We're going to turn it to position, which means rotate zoom, stuff like this. I think it's too much here right now. Okay. And we have to put we have to make it thick because this will be much more nice after that which means object and drop shadow the color will be dark green which is perfect press ok but I think this is still not thick enough so I'm going to ref repeat this effect yes that's much more better and uh, and uh, we're going to put something special into it which go back to effects and to effects and oh, where it is desort yes and bug we're going to make it a bit special like this that's it we've got it we have to save this file a PNG image. The name going to be Green Box. It's already accessed. But we're going to overwrite it. Matter. That's it. We've got the image. We have to go to the IcoFX software. Start it. File. Import. This is the green box. Open. 256, 256. Have to put the lines as close as possible because it's going to fit going to fit perfectly yes you can see that the icon is quite nice but we're going to make it more nice we're going to put drop shadow and icon no image and all the shadow to the other side more better and finally we're going to put some soft blue to the surface and we've got you you can see that the icon is really really nice well we can put into new images into it it's going to be 48 by 48 the icon is there and going to be another image 32 by 32 and 24 by 24 so we're going to get a multi-format image multi-format icon like this 
and we have to save it. So it's going to be green box. to the green box icon. Let's see what we've done. Go here. Go documents. Green box icon. Put it here. You can see that the icon is pretty good and really nice.